Hello everyone. In previous videos, we introduced how we can program the TwinSafe safety logic in TwinSafe group this area. This is the overview of our safety logic. After we finish the safety logic, don't forget to save and compile everything. To compile the TwinSafe safety logic, go to the TwinSafe, go to verify safety project or the verify complete safety project. And in current step, if you go to verify complete safety project, you will find the system will pop up two arrows. That arrow means target machine cannot be found. And target system of the safety project, safety control is not reachable. So the reason that's because currently all the things configuration and the program we are doing offline program in the twin safe setting. Let's go to the target system here. The key things because this area that twin safe offline project haven't find the actual hardware address yet. To find this hardware address, we need to go online, connect the actual controller and switch your system and switch your controller into the configuration mode. Select this afresh, go upload. Upload the actual hardware setting. That setting that is the deep switch is at the side of that uh, EL6900 or 6910 controller at the side of that controller, like here. Once we go online, switch the system into that configuration mode, we can upload those parameters. And after that, if you go verify the system again, the system won't pop up these arrows. Let me demonstrate how we can do that. Let's select the target system. And currently, we already connect the actual controller. But currently, the controller is in a running mode. So now it's in a running mode. So let's switch the system to configuration mode. Active this uh, free run mode. Once we active this free run mode, click that flash, we can read the hardware address. We can use this to toggle free run mode status to switch this uh, free run mode. You can click this uh, arrow to upload the actual hardware address. And after that, if you click this uh, compile the safety logic, there will be no arrows pop up again. And once we get this uh, actual hardware address and the compiled pass, so we can switch the system back to the run mode again. And before we download the safety controller, well, make sure you already click this uh, active configuration. You already download all the PLC hardware already. Because after you download this uh, active configuration, basically the TwinKite will download all the hardware configuration to the, the entire controller. And after that, click this uh, TwinSafe, click this uh, download safety project. Because we already read this hardware address, so after the offline program read the online configuration, you will see the software version, series number, as well as uh, the safety address. The safe address and the hardware address deep switch, they must match together. So when you click the download, the system will pop up this page, download project data. It will show where your controller it is. So the username by default, that is a administrator. And the series number, you need to copy this series number, paste at here. And the password by default, that is a twin safe. Keep in mind, T S A F E, that is the capital. And click the next. 
and next it will show the download result, the green checkbox. So after you download, all this step already show the green, which means we already download successfully. And after the download, if we need to go online, go to the twin safe, select the show online data. This is especially for the safety logic. But once the safety logic go online, if the signal go on, we will see the flow that is a green color. With this green color in that big chart, it's easy for us to do the commissioning and the troubleshooting. If you found there's no any green showing in your chart, make sure you go to the run and stop signal checkout if the PLC already start this safety controller. In previous video, I showed how we can program a true signal to a standard attack and transfer the attack to this uh, run and stop signal. And if your terminals got an error and you need to acknowledge the terminal, recover the safety system, you need to turn on this uh, error acknowledge to clear the fault in the safety system. And keep in mind that this tag is also linked by a standard tag and controlled by a standard PLC. So that is for today. So till this video, we already show all the key sequence, how we set up the project, how we build up the hardware, how we connect the safety channel to our safety logic, how we program the safety logic, and then how we download the safety controller. And if you recall, if you try to learn the TwinCat system and the TwinSafe system, couple menus is very important and very useful. So they are TwinSafe Logic FB. This menu introduces the detail of the function block inside the safety program. And this application guide, TwinSafe, help you to build up the basic structure and the basic concept of the safety control loops. And next, that is uh, the menu TwinCat Safety PLC, PC-based safety controller. And in this menu, you can focus on the chapter four that introduced uh, what the detail configuration on the safety controller. But uh, on the chapter five, that is a safety C application development. If you recall, when we use the, the TwinCat 3 safety wizard to set up the safety controller, uh, there's one selection called uh, safety C. So that chapter five introduced the detail, but from our industry background, usually we will select uh, the FBD language to program. So you could only focus on the chapter four. This is some key menus you could download. And before you go on site, you better prepare in your laptop. And in case you need to check, it's very easy to check out the detailed information. And that's all. This is all our series videos on the TwinSafe safety controller. All those videos come from my personal experience. Hopefully they are useful for you. During I'm making this series video, I also learn a lot. It's also a learning curve for myself because I touched this uh, twin safe system within a uh, half year. So it's good times for myself to learn this all things and the summary of this all things. Actually, I have a more stronger background on the Siemens safety system. So maybe the next series video on the safety portion, I could introduce the Siemens safety controller system for example, i7-1200 safety, that is a small safety system, it's very flexible. So, see you in next series videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.